In this video, we are going to learn all about polyhedrons. A polyhedron is a three-dimensional solid. And what makes this particular solid a polyhedron is all of its sides or faces are polygons. Looking at these three pictures, two of these are polyhedrons and one is not. Because all of the faces have to be polygons, this solid down here is not a polyhedron because it has a curved face along the side. This is called a cylinder and it is not a polyhedron. These other two solids are polyhedrons. This is called a prism and you can notice that all of its faces are rectangles or squares. And this is called a pyramid, and it's also a polyhedron because all of its faces are triangles or there's a square on the bottom. So a face is sort of like one of the sides of a polyhedron. So for example, this would be a face, or this triangle right here is a face. There are two other key features of any polyhedron. One is vertices, and the vertices are all the little points where three faces intersect. So all of these points are called vertices, or one is called a vertex. The third important feature of a polyhedron is an edge. This would be an example of an edge, or right here, or right here. It's a line segment where two faces intersect, so each of those are called edges. There's an interesting relationship between the number of vertices, edges, and faces in any polyhedron. And actually, this relationship is consistent. This is called Euler's theorem. And what it says is, the number of faces F plus the number of vertices V will always equal the number of edges plus two. So let's test that out with our prism. In the prism, there are six faces. There's front, back, right, left, and top, bottom. There are six faces total. For vertices, all of them have been drawn in here and there are eight total. For edges, which were the blue highlighted line segments, there are four along the top, four along the bottom, and then four along the sides, which makes 12 total. So there are 12 edges. And let's see if this follows with Euler's theorem. The number of faces is six, plus the number of vertices is eight. Does that equal the number of edges 12 plus two? Well, six plus eight is 14, and that does equal 12 plus two, also 14. So Euler's theorem holds in this case, and it will actually always hold for any polyhedron. Now, there are a special type of polyhedrons called regular polyhedrons, and they are when all of the polygon faces are regular polygons. In fact, the faces aren't just polygons, they're all congruent polygons. There are five different regular polyhedrons, and that's it. They're called the platonic solids because Plato discovered them a long time ago. So another name for the regular polyhedrons are the platonic solids. And here are the five platonic solids. We have a regular tetrahedron, which has four faces that are all equilateral triangles. Then we have the cube, which has six faces, and they're all squares. 
A regular octahedron, that octa prefix means eight, so it has eight equilateral triangle faces. Next we have a regular dodecahedron, which has 12 faces that are all pentagons. And last, our last platonic regular solid is a regular icosahedron, which has 20 faces that are all triangles.